Look at that. Did he not do a great job or what? Look, it's sticking. Try to get those. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't stick. Look, it doesn't stick here. You're fine. Try to get those out. You don't have to take it out. Oh, there you go. That looks great. Good job. From scratch. Come on. He's playing with Papa back and forth all around. Get him, babes. Get him, babes. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, he plays with Papa every night. That's it. Okay. Good morning. Yes, it is morning, but not the kind of morning I'm hoping it would be. You're not going to believe me if I show this to you. You want to look and see the time? Yes. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It is 3.35 in the morning. Why am I still awake? Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It just happens. Oh my goodness, grape juice. Okay, I'm here today, this morning. I'm going to bed soon, I promise. Um, two, I am here to tell you, I am offering this day up for my last three subscribers that I am going to mention. His one. Yes, let me turn this TV down while you're looking at that. And... The second one, mm -hmm. and I will tell you why, and the third one, I am offering up my whole day, as soon as I wake up, because I am so good at doing what is good and right with my goals, with my eating, the last, I would say, two days, I am like a monster, okay? I want to eat everything carb. I just ate pizza, like right now. I had cheesecake, okay? Bad. Bad. Yes, bad. I actually wanted to eat it because I knew that when I woke up, I wasn't going to. That is a terrible frame of mind. It is a terrible thought process. And it's not cool. It's not okay. It's not me. I can't buy that box of pizza anymore. I can't. I like it too much. I do. I enjoy it way too much. And it's not cool at all. I, I can't have that. Because for me, I don't know if this happens to everybody, but um, when I eat something that spikes my insulin level, I'm talking like the pizza, like... um. I don't even know. I guess the pizza, it starts with that because it sends my blood sugar so high that I'm looking for that again. This is like a drug, right? And, um, and I know I'm not hungry. And when I am hungry, I don't want to eat that. I, I mean, though I do, I want to eat nourishing things, nourishing things. I am not doing this to myself. So for the next, I have gone through all my subscribers um, the ones that let themselves known. The ones that don't let yourselves known, I'm sorry. I still pray for you every day and every Sunday. I absolutely do. So, but I have three more, my last three. So thank you very much for giving me the strength. Uh, and I pray that God gives you your heart's desire on this day um, and the grace that you need to fulfill his will, his holy will. All right, let me go watch a 600-pound life and be encouraged. And I'll see you in the morning. Bright and shiny. Well, all right. I'll rise, but I'm not going to be shining. Oh, please, pray for me. I know I'll be okay. I just don't like this. I shouldn't be eating cheesecake that's got the nasty sugar in it. Um, I should not be eating pizza like this. I don't want to. I don't want to, even though I want to. <laughs>
but I'll be all right. Just please pray for me. Thank you. Did I tell you that I wanted to give up? I wanted to offer the three subscribers so that my job for the day is to only eat when I am actually physically hungry, not emotionally hungry, not because my insulin level has spiked so high, but just, even if it takes, I mean, if I ate at three o'clock in the morning, I'm probably not going to get hungry till like tomorrow night or tonight. So only when I'm truly hungry and I will do that until I fall asleep again. Okay. In the night. So that is it. It may just be one meal, two meals. Why is this important? Why is this a big deal? Because I have a problem with food. Absolutely. But I have had such great virtuous um, victories over it in the last year. So um, do I get like this often? No, but I don't like it. So I have to squash. I have to squish. I have to pound this last bit of vice. We're going to knock it out. See you later. I don't want it. I know my hunger and I know, I know my hunger for food emotionally. Um, and there's really nothing even happening. It's just because I feel like it. I think it's the, the spiking of the blood, the, the drug attitude. So, um, yeah, once I get rolling on that, I, I'm like a train, you know, so I really don't want to be like that. So because I've been so, I'm so proud of myself and if you are at all working on it and you fail, don't worry. Keep picking yourself up. You'll have your great days and then some, sometimes you'll have your bad days, uh, maybe sometimes more than you would like, but every time you get yourself back up, even when you fail again, you have succeeded that much more. So please be patient with yourself. Okay, let's do it. Oh man. All right, this is how sumo wrestlers get as big as they are. They eat and then they go to bed. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, you can do this, Lisa. It's a piece of keto cake. Mm -hmm. oh, keto cake. Berg, I need you. <sighs> Some wrestlers. Is it safe? Oh dear God, be with me. And for those three subscribers that I mentioned, give me strength. Father and Son of the Holy Ghost, amen. I love you, God. I love you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another day on this earth so that I can be with my family. Thank you for another day. Thank you for dying for all of us on the cross. And thank you for giving us life. I pray for my husband that he can be the best man that you have created him to be. I pray that he gets closer to the church and that he has a heart of flesh and not a heart of stone and that he be a great servant of you, a love for Our Lady and all the angels and saints and the Holy Mother of the Church. I pray that he could be a great husband and a great father even more 
And I pray for me that I can be the best that I can be and do your will. I pray for our children as salvation, education, and vocation. I pray that we are all filled here in this house with wisdom from above. I pray for the children that they do your will, that they desire to be great saints. And I pray that only things that you want in our lives today, Lord, let your will be done in our lives. Nothing more, nothing less. I hand you over my entire family and only let your will be done in our lives. I pray for our parents, for their souls to be in right standing with you and that they have good health. I pray for all my brothers and sisters on both sides of the family and their families, aunts, uncles, that everyone can do your will. I pray for our godchildren and our confirmation children and my friend's son. I pray for our good friends and their families and all our subscribers and their families and those subscribers to come. I love you, Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit come upon the earth and in our home, help us to make your home, this home a place where you are happy to dwell. Help us not to offend you and please forgive us of our sins. And anyone stuck in sin today, Lord, in the whole world, I pray for them that they have the grace to overcome. We love you, Lord. We love you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for waiting for me. You've been waiting a long time, huh? Oh, I just love you. No, come here. Is this even normal? I've got the whole world in my hands. I've got the whole world in my hand. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, well, welcome. Oh, wow. You know, I am just loving my day. I am. Remember I went to bed so late? Well, okay. Well, I think it was about 1030. I was awake early in that, laying there and laying there and laying there. And I'm just like, all right, my will wants to get up. Now you say that to working folks, right? You're all out there working, but I work too. I just work different shifts, different hours, right? So yeah, and now it is quarter past two in the afternoon. Got lots and lots of things done. <gasps> the only thing I didn't do was pray with the kids. That's terrible. I need to do that. What am I, crazy? Now listen, I know. Come here, come on, come here, it's okay. Don't be afraid. I know that you are a light in my life. Oh, yes, you are. Come here. Yes, and I know how much you mean to me. But I have to get the kids' prayers going. Come on. Mm. You know why I like you so much? I'm going to tell you right now. You ready? Because you are so good to me. Yes, you are. And you are faithful. You show up every day. Yes, you are always there for me. And you lift my spirits. Yes, you do. Wonderful, wonderful. So before I get into... Are they going to ask me to cook, though, if I have them come down? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. Oh, my God, I give you all my prayers, works, and sufferings 
So you will attach them to the Sacred Heart of Jesus in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass everywhere around the world today. I thank you for everything you give me today. I'm sorry for offending you. I ask you to please bless me today and for all eternity. Help me to please you and Holy Mother the Church for the conversion of sinners and for the relief of the poor souls in purgatory. I wish to gain all the indulgences attached to the prayers I shall say and the good works I shall perform this day. Come Holy Spirit, fill my heart, mind, come here, come here. Come Holy Spirit, fill my heart, mind, body, and soul that I may be pleasing to God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay, this is out of the new St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism of the Catholic Church. And today we're on chapter 10. Here's a nice picture. Okay, the Holy Spirit gives the strength to carry our crosses. So every day you're going to have to carry your own cross. Kind of like what you're going through now. All right? And the Holy Spirit will give you the strength to do that. So... Today we're talking about the virtues and gifts of the Holy Spirit. So Sarah, it's your turn to find Romans chapter 8, okay? Mm. We read in the Holy Bible, Whoever are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God, okay? But if we are sons, we are heirs also. We receive the rights of sons Heirs indeed of God and joint heirs with Christ, provided, however, we suffer with him that we may also be glorified with him. So we are going to suffer, period. Carry your cross every day. And if you have the Holy Spirit, then you will be able to do that. So, it was wonderful. Because my oldest daughter, I have a 15-year-old, we were sitting together for a very long time. So even though we were upstairs still, um, sharing those moments in listening to your children, like really listening to what they're saying, not just in passing, but really listening and giving good advice and hearing their opinions and thoughts and encouraging them and, and you know, you're laughing. And these are important. This is so important. Right? So I thought, what a blessing. And then she would leave and then she would come back and she would leave and come back and do this here. And we just talked for like so long. And I thought, what a gift. What a gift. You know, I get to have my kids. So she's not working in books, but she's working in her life. And she's learning how to be a decent human being by discussion and critical thinking and, you know, how to love, really. Right? Isn't that the best ever? And then I had my 10-year-old Sarah work in her books, just about two of them for now, two or three, maybe two. And we'll work more later. But, you know, it was nice because we were, we were talking upstairs before we came down, Sarah and I, my 10-year-old, how, you know, organization does save time, you know. And we had gone through all her clothes and the other day, and we got rid of bags of, of clothes that, you know, were just overloading. And then clothes were everywhere. They were, like, piled on top of the, the dresser over here. And then over there, there was, like, no room for them. So, um, you know, and then she, she found herself ready to just put the clothes, like, on the floor. And she went, no, what am I doing? And I said, see, I said, a little, this is a perfect example of a little goes a long way. Right? You keep your clothes nice in the moment, and the next time you come in, you feel good about your space, and it's easy to find things. To me, these are lessons in life. Right? Now, could you go to school all day long and still learn that? Absolutely. I'm sure there's some really neat kids, you know? Um, but I enjoyed the fact that we had a ton of time to do it, and to talk, and laugh, and... You know, I'm showing her like, okay, here's your little uh, shower cap. I'm going to put it over here. This is a little area for you in the bathroom. And she's like, oh, thank you. So we're, we're both being polite to each other and taking our time and, and staying organized. And it just felt so heavenly. You know what I mean? And then my son, my son, you know, I had him do, um, I'm not sure if he did his math all the way. Uh, math, the funny thing about math is that 
he can whip out numbers like that and equations, like the answers to them in a heartbeat. And me, and he, he says to me, you're, you can't figure that out. You're still, you need, you need paper. You still, you're still, you can't do that. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and that's okay. So, and I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? So, um, so to me, having work in the books, I'm, I'm wondering, am I doing him a justice or am I hindering him from using his own brains about things? You know, I really, this is why I'm taking you along. I'm learning about unschooling. So, and we're very relaxed homeschooling. So what else did he do? I know he did his English online. He's talking to a kid in Florida. They talk every day. He's calling me. Hold on. Yeah? Why? Or he's begging me for my assistance. Let's go see. Let's go see. He's like, please. So, let's be there. I am. Oh, it's sleepy time. He's going to put him to sleep. Oh, yeah, he's probably passed out. The blood is probably rushing to his head and he can't breathe. Ready, look. look. That, that's it? Ready, look. looks up. Oh, he puts him to sleep. Look at his foot. I don't think he's having a good time. People want to kill it and eat it? Okay, ready, look. Why? Look, this is like haunting and it's so scary. It's haunting? Like... I don't want you watching haunting things. No, 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 look at that. Watch, oh, watch, watch was that electric? Was that watch, electricity? Watch. What is? I I saw this before. Oh, you did? Yeah, but what's happening? It, it got it got struck by lightning and it fell. Oh, do you see the lightning there? Yeah, watch. Look, look at the tree. Oh yeah. Nice. The whole thing. Very good. Very I good. Chicken oil. Oh, I love the chicken. All right, so we're back. So I thought that that was nice, you know, that I'm thinking, what is this? He's like, Mama, hurry. And I'm like, what is he? you got to see this. I'm thinking it's way more important than that. What I like is that here he is, he's male, you know, and that he cares very much for innocence. That to me, it's, it's priceless. And then, um, yeah. And then my daughter wanted to see the lightning and hitting and firsthand and what happens and, you know, this is life. It's what they're interested in. I like that. So, this morning or this afternoon, today when I was getting ready for the day, I was thinking about a saint. Saint Therese was a very young girl when she entered into a Carmelite order a holy order with nuns and this is the kind that's the strictest and you don't leave once you enter officially and I was thinking about how she was she got sick I think it was I want to say tuberculosis was it and don't quote me though and um can you give me a please stay close will you Anyway, she died, I think, I, I want to say 25-ish, maybe 24, 25, and I was thinking about her today and how she lost her mother when she was very, very little, and I'm thinking about how she used to yearn for heaven. After her mother died, she yearned for heaven in a mighty way, and she found the earth like to live here, to be very solemn. And so, you know, she missed her mother and she loved God. And, you know, we often think that when, when people die, it's a terrible thing, right? Because we don't want anything. We don't want bad things happening. We don't want the person. If somebody gets a cold, we cater to them. Oh, here's some chicken soup. It is some medication. And oh, here, go rest, go sleep. We'll tuck you in. Here's a thermometer. Let me take you to the doctor. You got a fever, okay? And so when they die, it's like they're so hurt that they died. We don't want any pain upon the ones we love, right? And yet, you get to think now. I know it's easy for me to say right now because nothing's happening like this in my life at the moment. It has. Um... So, I'm thinking about how God, don't mind the trash over there, <laughs> um, and how it must 
be for God to want to, you know, we want our loved ones with us, right? And I know God is everywhere. He can be like that. But he, I wonder if he ever thinks like this, like, okay, so no, I'm going to rescue my beloved and take, and take her home with him. You know, he saw her longing and longing and her father ended up dying and later on and, you know, like there's no better place to be than in heaven, right? We all want to get to heaven, but we don't want to die to get there. So it's like that. Like I was thinking about how he, he just wanted to scoop her up and take, take her home with him. You know, I thought that was very sweet. And so I'm trying to look at death like that rather than doom. And then there was something else I was thinking about today. What was it? My friend gave me that. Isn't that cute? Oh, let me see. You can't even read it, can you? Yep, don't forget that, Joanne. <laughs> don't forget about me. 